bet you didn't know that those fuzzy dice would come in handy someday. Hey, hey guys, Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and we are talking math and fuzzy furry dice. Yes, that's right. So I have had these for some time. I picked them up at one of those, um, I don't know, those flea market type of places, trade shows, and I've kept them ever since, and my kids have loved playing with them. I have seen these at Dollar Tree. You can find them there. Or you can use just plain, ordinary um, game dice. Uh, Dollar Tree also has these as well. Probably can find them at any, um, you know, Target or Walmart or something like that. Um, these are just nicer because they're bigger, especially if you're doing this for the smaller kids. And um, they're soft, so no one will get harmed and nobody is going to eat them. Very important. So I also have these little number magnets. Once again, another dollar store purchase. You can use these by placing them out as such and of course I'm going to use numbers one through six initially. I'm going to take away one of these and now we are doing a roll and tally kind of activity. So I'm going to roll the dice or the child's going to roll the dice and you're going to count together one, two, three, four, five or if the child already knows that is five that is fine and then we're going to put one tally underneath the five. In this case it's stars. So I found these stars. I have a whole bunch here. These are actually um, ice cubes. Like you put them in and they become ice cubes and I'm using them as counters. You can use those pebbles from the Dollar Tree. You can use um, buttons. You could use little little blocks. Whatever it is you have to, to do a tally and counting. And you're just going to take turns rolling the die. Here's one and making your tally. Two, and six. So you get the idea. So it's basically a fun way to incorporate counting, learning um, visually how many is six, learning the number symbol for it, and then also really beginning graphing is what this is. If you don't have these numbers, you can just use a plain piece of paper and go ahead and write. You could be far neater than I am. I'm just kind of winging this here for the video. And then you have a little chart. Uh, so you don't have to have those letters, but you can just make one on your own. An alternative to this is to also make little pictures of dice. So if you make little pictures of dice like this, it's a great visual clue for matching. So this might be a beginning skill. Then you can move up to using just the numbers um, when doing this game. Another fun way is to involve those markers, those do a dot markers. So these are also at the Dollar Tree, but this is the name brand kind called do a dot. They look like this and they're basically like a bingo marker and you can roll the die. It's a number four and so you tally that way by making one dot on the four. Another fun way is to roll the dice and do a three and then make three dots anywhere on the paper to make a picture. One, two, three. Roll again. This is the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so you're going to cover the entire page with all kinds of these colors and these different markers until it's all done. So it's also an, a, a fun kind of art project and a way to do this as well. Once you've mastered one dice, you can move on to using two. Just expand your number range if you're using something like the graph like here. So instead of one to six, go to one to twelve. Or you can start to introduce math concepts, so adding and subtracting are good ones. So you'd roll both dice, and you determine that this is two. So you could do two dots, one, two, plus four, one, two, three, four. Count the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can make an additional six dots over here, or you can use the number six, or you can write it in, however you want to do that. So it's just a fun way to incorporate something um, tangible with the dice, something artistic, um, and visual cues with the markers, and then the overall math problem. So there you have it, guys. There's just a few ideas when incorporating dice into your your day and some fun ways to use do a dot markers to do that click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love
and then play a game of where you pick the key and then you go find the corresponding block.